Joaquin Alcine Delvin Rodriguez was our main event. 38-year-old former titleist in Alcine. Ate a right hand from Rodriguez there. Teddy, this would go the distance, 10 rounds. And it was curious scoring. 97-93 Rodriguez, 96-94 Alcine. And then a 95-95 up here in Montreal to make it a draw. A draw in a fight that you refer to as not a crossroads fight, but an end-of-the-road fight. Yeah, I mean, look, both guys look pretty badly faded, or especially Alcine in his 44th fight, as you said, 38 years old. He looks like a guy who should retire. I mean, he's not able to pull the trigger on a lot of things. And Rodriguez, we're going to be fair. you got to say it on both sides. Rodriguez should have dominated him more, but he shouldn't have been robbed. And he was robbed. Oh, he sure was. And, and this business, uh, it stinks when you see that. When you see these judges, for the most part, never took a risk in their life, and they stand out there with their pencils, and they go and they rob a kid who's in a position where he's put so much into it, 15 years into it, and he's at a place where he's looking to get to the end of the road, maybe cash out. But now they push him back in the line where he's got to take more punches. They don't have to take more punches. He has to take more punches. They don't suffer. They don't get hurt. They sit back. They go home. They drink a glass of wine. They think nothing of it. They should be out of here. They shouldn't be judging. They shouldn't be in position to hurt these fighters. Let's tell you what's coming up on Friday Night Fights next time out. It'll be May 23rd. The Boxino Tournaments, the championships, lightweight and middleweight finales. Peter Petrov, Fernando Carcamo among the lightweights in the tournament finals. And then Brandon Adams and Willie Monroe Jr. Boxino double finals, 9 o'clock Eastern start time on May 23rd.